It's been a, a long road, three different webisodes. Uh, are you excited for tonight? I'm extremely excited. I think the contestants are going to do awesome. I'm sure the crowd are going to love this final. Expecting a, a great night. I think uh, you know it's, it, it's a nice opportunity for them to be on stage. Um, you know, I think it's up to the, the crowd now to decide. I'm sure that uh, Mike and Sandra are probably on pins and needles right now, but uh, I mean, it's just like a wedding or any other big event that comes to a culmination at the end. If you had to choose a favorite dish, uh, uh, what would it be? No, no, you're not going to get me on that. Oh, I reserve my choice for later. I can't say till after the show. All right, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thanks. As a contestant in a culinary show, what kind of stress do you face in a, in a finale like this? Having your food judged is incredibly hard for anyone. You know, you put your all into a dish and you're hoping that the judges will see that you've done your very best, but you also want to make sure that it's something that they're going to like and enjoy. The night has come. The stress is here. Yes. Are you going to win, Sandra? Yes, I am. You know what? I feel confident. Um, this kitchen crew, Irene and her crew, did a fantastic job re replicating it, recreating uh, the flavors, the textures, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm really pleased. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first ever Cook For Me Sudbury finale. I'd like to introduce you all to my co-host, founding publisher of Sudbury Living Magazine, and a self-professed foodie, Patricia Mills. You've watched them narrow down the competition to our final two competitors. Please join me in welcoming our judges. Collège Bayas culinary professor, Simon Levina. <laughs> Owner of Legacy Catering, Stephanie Pichet. <laughs> Owner of Frank's Delicatessen and Verticchio Ristorante e Inoteca, Mark Gregorini. And last, but certainly not least, tonight's celebrity guest judge, MasterChef Canada runner-up, Marita Mohamed. Tonight you will be served a course from each of our two finalists. Once you have tasted each dish, there's a little card in front of you. Please check off the dish that you prefer. You will ultimately help us crown the winner. Can you please describe your dish to the audience? First of all, I'd, I'd like you to uh, just to visually take a look at your plate. I'm trying to introduce color. I'm trying to introduce texture. And I hope that you're getting a little crunch on the polenta. I hope you're getting a little sweet from the uh, locally sourced honey glaze. I hope you're getting a little salt from the olives that that's in with that vegetable medley. So we're looking for texture, we're looking for flavor, and, and we're looking for just an all-around yum. <laughs> Are you guys getting an all-around yum? What sets your dish apart from Sandra's dish? Well, uh, <laughs> I've been trying to locally source product. What you're eating today is uh, Ontario lamb. Uh, from Newmarket, has a different flavor profile than, than our typical Australian, New Zealand lamb. Uh, a little more mellow, a little more uh, food friendly for, for our palate. I'm also using uh, locally sourced uh, honeys. So, so really what, what sets my dish apart is, is locally sourced, uh, trying to locally source ingredients, as well as giving you a, a, a texture and, and a flavor profile that, that I feel is, is, is young. So what we have is some pork tenderloin, tenderloin that was marinated in white wine with some pimento paste, paprika, garlic, um, and I think something else like that. I can't remember what else. I don't want you guys stealing my recipe. No. And, <laughs> and there's potatoes and clams. So you get the best of both worlds. So what do you think sets your dish apart from your competitors? It's better. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like Mike's dish. <laughs> um, what sets mine apart, I think, is not many people are very familiar with Portuguese cuisine. So I think, uh, like Mike's dish, the lamb was fantabulous, but I think you can go to a restaurant and order that, as opposed to a Portuguese dish such as mine. You won't find it in Sudbury? If you win tonight, will we see a Portuguese restaurant in Sudbury by any chance? Well, you'd be nice, eh? Because uh, there's way too many Italian restaurants in this city. You know? um, the All right, we'll be announcing the winner in 20 minutes' time. 
While our Cook for Me Summary team tallies the votes and picks up the bags at your table, please join me in welcoming the one, the only, Blues Brothers! the moment we've all been waiting for. I have the winner right here in this envelope, which I won't be revealing right now. Suspense is key in these kinds of events. I'm going to invite the remaining eight finalists from our webisode series to the stage. Please join me in welcoming Christine Sola, Chris Husa, Chris Mask, Meryl Hardwick, Pamela St. George, Rotana Mallory, and unfortunately, Todd Robson and Philip May were unable to join us this evening. We need to announce our fan choice winner. I don't know if any of you voted online, but we asked you to. <laughs> so we have received hundreds of online votes. That is no understatement. And it came down to contestants. And the winner, by a margin of 30 votes, is Chris Yusat. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you guys. Check them out on our websites if you haven't. Cookformesudbury.com. Sandra and Mike, can you please join me on stage? Tonight's grand prize winner will be walking away with $1,000 in cash, the featured profile and story in the spring issue of Sudbury Living Magazine, a $500 restaurant top stop restaurant and supply gift card. And of course, the coveted first Cook For Me Sudbury Trophy. I have the ballot in my hands. I'm going to pass it over to Marita, who has graciously opted to announce it, announce the winner. So there you go, Marita. Sudbury is Mike. 